Hey there, tennis fans. It might be Monday, but cheer up. You're about to get your Tennis Now Tennis News. Now, world number five, Robin Soderling, gave a week's worth of absolutely dominant performances to win the Swedish Open. He blitzed his way through the draw, beating Thomas Burdich 6 love, 6 1 in the semifinal and David Ferrer 6 2 6 2 in the final. Soderling lost only 12 points on his serve against Ferrer in the final, which is absolutely stunning when you consider that the Spaniard is the third best returner on tour. Now with the uh, Swedish Open title added to his collection, Soderling has won four titles this year and 10 in his career. Soderling is still 2,350 points behind world number four Andy Murray in the rankings though. Meanwhile, at the Mercedes Cup in Stuttgart, former world number one and 2003 French Open champion Juan Carlos Ferrero beat fellow Spaniard Pablo Andujar in the final to win his first title of the year in what was his third tournament of the year. Ferrero has missed much of the year because of injury, and his ranking has dropped down to number 85 as a result. But by winning the title, he jumped up 21 spots to number 64. Now on the ladies' side, Annabelle Medina Garrigas beat Polona Herzog 6-3, 6-2 to win the title in Palermo. This was Garrigas' 10th title on clay, making her the leader among active players for clay court titles. Interestingly, five of those 10 titles have come from Palermo. Now in Bad Gastein, Austria, Maria Jose Martinez Sanchez won her first title in 14 months after she beat Austria's Patricia Meyer Achtleitner 6 love 7 5. Achtleitner did very well to reach what was her first WTA Tour final. She beat fifth seeded Lourdes Dominguez Lino in the first round and then 8th seeded Xenia Pervac in the semifinals, and until the final, she hadn't even lost a set. Now, Martina Sanchez's experience won out, though, and she went on to win her fourth career title. Now, we've got three tournaments going on this week. Marty Fish and Kevin Anderson lead the field at the Hardcore Tournament in Atlanta, while Gael Monfils, Jurgen Meltzer, Nicholas Almagro, and Mikel Yuzny will be in action at the Clay Court event in Hamburg. On the WTA side, Vera Zvonareva and Anastasia Pavluchenkova are the top seeds at the Hardcore Tournament in Baku, Azerbaijan. Now moving on to other news, the draw for the 2012 Fed Cup World Group has been announced and we've got some very interesting matchups. Germany has been drawn against the Czech Republic and we could be looking at a match between Andrija Pekovic and Wimbledon champion Petra Kvitova. Serbia has also been drawn against Belgium which could feature Kim Kleisters and Janina Vickmeyer taking on Anna Ivanovic and Jelena Jankovic. Now for a full list of those matchups you can check out our website. Moving on, we're getting close to the end of the World Team Tennis season and we've got tickets for some of the matches left, including tomorrow night's match between Kansas City Explorers, featuring the Bryan Brothers, and the Philadelphia Freedom. We also have a pair of tickets to see Mark Philippoussis and the St. Louis Aces take on the Newport Beach Breakers in St. Louis tomorrow night as well. So make sure to keep an eye on our Facebook and Twitter accounts so you can see how to win. And that's all the news from the tennis world for the 18th of July. Have a good weekend, everybody.